Hey everybody, I'm going to make some barbecue chicken um, today on the inside grill, but I like to um, boil mine first. I'm going to use my new pan. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> this is the pan my cousin got me, but I'm going to put my chicken in there and I'm going to boil it um, and let it get, you know, real, practically get done before I put it on the inside grill. That's how I always do it and then I always put barbecue sauce. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll put some chicken in here with some water and some garlic powder for season and that's how I like my chicken. And I'm going to make some potato salad and I'm going to put some, be putting some corn on the grill too. I'll show you what it all looks like as I go along, okay? Okay, I've got my chicken on. Oh, my eyes got something on it. Uh, don't mind that, but um, I'm going to put some garlic in here for the season. And also, you know, I'll have barbecue once I get that on there. But put this on here and let it boil real good and get done. And then I'll be back. Okay. Now, if I was cooking outside on the grill, I would do my corn like this anyway. And then put it on the grill. But, um, I'm going to put butter on it like this. This is how I do my corn. Oop, okay. Video at the same time. Put a little butter in there. And then I'll wrap it up. I'm going to put it in my pan. Okay, I got all my corn rolled. Um, yes, I mean, like, it's very pretty today. And I could have had a cookout outside. I mean, you know, my chicken and stuff outside. But I really need Terry's help to do that. Since I'm kind of disabled now. I can't get out on the porch very easy. So that's why I'm doing it inside. I've been craving a cookout. So I'm having a cook-in. Yeah, a cook-in. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 400. Let it cook cook for a while. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's so buttery because you put the butter in the foil. I've got me, got me three taters I'm going to cut up. And we'll make some potato salad. I'll show you how I mix that. All this video is going to be together. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. It may have to be two parts if I don't keep it under 10 minutes. But I'm going to try my best. I don't like watching part one and part two of stuff. So I'm going to try if nevertheless, part one and part two will be posted at the same time if it ends up being two videos. Because that drives me crazy. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I was cutting my potatoes and then I thought I'd tell a story time. See this knife? It's got this wooden handle on it. My granny and grandpa had 16 kids. Um, has nothing to do with that, but um, this knife. But anyway, my grandpa made it for my granny. Looks rusted up, but it's not. Um, she made it. He made it for her because as she got older, she had diabetes and she went. She was going blind, so he put it. He made it like this so that when she was doing dishes, it would float in the water. But this is my bet. My favorite knife will always be my favorite knife, and um, I'll pass down to my daughter one day because this is the awesome best knife uh, my grandpa Langston made. Yep, just a little story time. Okay, I got my taters on. Um, I've always put a thing of butter in there. And I don't cook much with salt. But um, for whatever reason, I've always put salt in my um, taters to cook. Yeah. But other than that, I don't really salt many things. Because my grill and my mom have a high blood pressure, so we didn't use much salt. I got my chicken, chickens getting boiling and getting done, uh, and then I'll be ready to put it on the grill as soon as it's done. Chicken's so hard to get done, just putting it on the grill. So I'm gonna get my taters going. I gotta put me an egg on for my tater salad. Had the chicken is um, a lot done, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it over and put it on the grill. Got my egg going. Okay, I put some barbecue on me and my husband. I'll use this from the Dollar Tree. Bullseye Everyday Barbecue. It's good. I uh, didn't put none on my mom. She doesn't want no barbecue on her. So I'm going to put the lid on the grill and let it cook for a little while and then flip it over. And just in case anybody's wondering, my mom had got this inside grill um, in the Jenny's catalog. Really cool. I think it's about $100 when she bought it. Okay, I'm gonna let these cook. Grill up. And I'm gonna 
I'm going to rotate the corn. Check it on it. And I'll be back. Okay, chicken's doing good. Turn it over, turn it around a little bit. I like my barbecue chicken to cook in my barbecue sauce, so that's why I do it like that. This is going to be so good. I'll be back. Not quite done yet, but look how pretty the grill marks. I don't know. I just makes it taste better to me. So I'm going to let that cook some more. Alright. I'm going to make my tater salad. I got my tater string. Got a little milk in there. But I always put, we put relish in ours. And some mustard. And then I've got an egg to put in there. But i got to blend these up. My mom likes them blended. She doesn't like them just mashed. But that's all I'm putting in my potato salad. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you what my plate looks like. Uh, everything's getting done. So my next uh, shot will be my plate. <laughs> I forgot. I was going to show you my tater salad. I got my everything mixed up in there. But yeah, it looks good. It's going to be good. Okay. We'll get my corn out, get my chicken out, and I'll show you my plate. Hey, okay, here's my plate. Looks so good. I finished cutting my chicken up, cut my corn off the cob. I just wanted to show you how it looked. Done. So good. So tender, too. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching me cook. Have a great day.